just gonna drop a save just to be safe because it, I have not had the greatest luck with voice. talking. Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev, man, it's off. I already told you. Look all at you his shin. Jesus uh, Christ. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the Ooh. fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. Alright. <laughs> Let's start with a police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh yeah? And why is that? Falsified. Because the police report itself was falsified. Why else would that be, if not to cover up a weak alibi? Man, you gotta be kidding me. That's some weak ass shit right there. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the okay, first place. Okay, that might be a wrong yeah, thing. You said you'd both been drinking heavily prior to the accident, and the reason Evelyn fell was because she was drunk. I may have chosen the wrong option here, but Man, you know. that shit was in the papers. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? The antique clock. By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good Because I was fashion, in it, you, you idiot! Motivation. Something to fuel your violent outburst. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? Pregnant. She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Hmm. Mm, I usually go with Pell Tower, but I could go for Lim, maybe because... The autopsy report was actually kind of buried. Lim. Your family's sizable investments in Lim assured the autopsy performed on Evelyn's body would never see the light of day. And her death would simply fall through the cracks of an already crumbling justice system. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. Alright, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her! I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out! So I hit her again, and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and, and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice. She trapped me. She just wanted my money. I would have been ruined. I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What, what about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. See ya, uh, Jay Leno, uh, Chinese Tell me person. A recording of all that. Oh my God, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. 
Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. Hmm. All right then. Now let's uh, go out and see what she has planned for us. Why is the music so much louder outside than inside? Jesus Christ. Uh, wait. Oh, oh, I uh, fucked up. But uh, I was thinking too a little. I, 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 we're hasting a little bit too fast. So I forgot that I needed to uh, hack a thing for Malik so that, that she can actually do her little thing. So, uh, if you guys could just keep looking that way, I'm just gonna uh, go and hack this. Oh, ooh, ooh, look at this. Yeah. Okay. okay, still undetected. Good. Oh, come on. Okay, just gonna start fortifying some shit. Access granted. Alright, good. Alright, Malik. Attacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Ooh, surprise. I like surprises. Got the, got the music. Jensen. Malik. Well, first take this. I was going to use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you going to do now? I have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't going to buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Okay. I'm facing it, Malik. Do I need to... Are you facing the hive? Oh, there we go. It's almost showtime. In three, two. Malik. Just watch. I don't. I don't know. Evelyn. Damn. Bitch. She was going to ruin me. I. <whistles> I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Okay. Malik, remind me never to piss you off. After everything you've done here for Evelyn, for me, you'd have to try pretty hard, mister. Good to know. Now, I'm not sure what. She uh, she would have done with the Praxis uh, kit since so I thought that Praxis kit was supposed to uh, mostly help uh, Adam uh, unlocking yeah, the yeah, augmentation that what well, that is shut down for the moment just so that he he wouldn't be overwhelmed by them uh, hold on yeah I'm just gonna go buy this right now just, just a hive it ready. Anyway, uh, I will meet you back uh, at the parts uh, to where we need to go for the main mission. So, uh, we're trying. I don't know what it's called. Uh, fuck it. Just cut away, Future Candy. So, hi. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we are at the parts here right now. And I need to go up the one more floor. And I'm probably not going to waste uh, much time trying to steal stuff here. Except for that. The but and that. I got the candy. Stop! Stop it! You're having a problem with the uh, fevery. And uh, yeah, but uh, I would say this right now: if you want to steal any anything from the parts here, this is going to be your last chance because otherwise, it's gonna get a bit tricky. Wait, hold on. There is one last thing I need to do. One last little thing that I need to do. 
And that is go is uh, to go back to the to our little uh, friend over here, our little shot guy. And I'm going to be buying a weapon. I'm probably gonna buy a shotgun. It will make sense. It will make sense. Just uh, trust me on this. Uh, there we go. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, there we go. All right, it will all make sense. Just trust me on this. You you want to have a weapon that you're not planning on you know, using. It's too bad I didn't remember it the sooner, because that because uh, I just wasted uh, like 90% of my money to buying this. But uh, trust me. Yeah, just if you have a shotgun you never plan on using it, or maybe a pistol that you never plan on using, just keep it. Trust me. It will be useful. Anyway, hey Van Bruggen, how you doing? Knock knock. Forget it, man. You're not my type. This isn't a booty call, Van Bruggen. This is about you and some friends of yours I met in Detroit. Detroit? Yeah, okay. I got it now. You and Seraph, right? You were there when I had to pull the plug. So you admit it. You were running a mole. The heck, man. Just the heck, worst decision I ever made taking that gig, as you can obviously see. You attack my people, Windmill. You hope to walk away from this, you tell me what you know. Damn boy. I've got no allegiance to that backstabbing bitch who hired me, especially after she painted a target on my back. The girl you want is Zhao Yunru, Tai Young Medical CEO. Tai Young what Medical? What the fuck? They're Seraph's biggest competition. How do you think they got that way? Uh, Future so can they like to cut see. all of so this out? Hack uh, attacks, blackmail, please? Extortion, anything she can do to destabilize it. No offense, but Saref was just the latest in a long line. You got any proof of this? There's a surveillance recording in the Tai Young Tower. I stashed it on the server in case I ever needed an insurance policy. Not a very smart place to hide it, seeing as you don't work there anymore. Things got hot before I could move it. And now, I got you to get it for me. Of course, you can't just walk into that place. You're gonna need an employee card encoded with your biometrics to use the TYM shuttle. Well, what do you know, Windmill? Oh, hey! I've already got an employee card. Ha ha ha! Just needs the biometrics See? from my passport. See? I told you that taking so the, the employee card earlier would work out for you. And this there is a proof. Uh, yeah! Shiny and bioencoded, just like I promised. Where do I find this recording? On a surveillance server in the TYM tower. But that badge will only get you into the lower city factory via their employee shuttle. And how am I supposed to get up to the tower from down here? Never said it wouldn't require a little finesse. Look, the tricky part is getting through the pango. But you're a resourceful guy. I have faith in you. Oh, of right. course you have. And after I'm through the floof? You'll be in the upper city tower. The server you want is in the central security hub. The login and password are on this. Now, about my reward. How about your reward? Yeah. They're here. How about your reward? Is that uh, I don't let you get killed by all of these guys. You gotta help me, Jason. They're gonna kill me. And that concerns me. How? Oh, come on, man. I helped you out. At least give me a weapon so I could defend myself. All right. So uh, remember that shotgun. We're gonna give him the shotgun. All right. Fine. Take this and get uh, out of what here. What is wrong with the lightning on Jensen's face? Okay, so here's our current situation. We have a lot of Taijong medical troops here. We're gonna have to sneak past all of them and uh, get the hell out of here. Now, uh, just gonna. Hmm, just gonna... Shoop. 
Now they are mainly looking for the hacker, but uh, they will not hesitate to shoot you down. Uh, so we want to be able to get back there. And just gonna do that. And just gonna drag the body very quickly out here. Thank you. Because uh, that guy will never walk uh, here and uh, look for things, so he is not going to be seen there. So, look. It's a good thing I left that door open. Uh, fuck, should have closed this door. Uh, so Thank you. And making our way down to the bottom floor. Now we can't escape through the main entrance, so uh, we're gonna. So after you go out there and to the left down the stairs, you're gonna have to take another left. Uh, let me see. Uh, where do I? Ah, I have a second. Because this is going to require me to use uh, soft uh, energy bars here. Okay. 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 There we go. Just gonna make. Trying to maintain my cloaking and whoopie doo! Ha 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 ha! Stealth! And now we gotta try and grab everything we can from here so that we can sell them later. And no, right, there's a camera there. Fuck. Uh, okay, and I don't think I can. No, I don't think I can actually uh, take this guy out without uh, getting... Okay, wait, I have a Praxis to uh, get... Uh... Hmm... You know what, let's buy the last battery upgrade. I need that. Okay, you... Uh... Yeah, you usually like to walk. Like that. Should probably uh, put some points into. Uh, okay. There we go. Alright, so we are in the bathrooms and there should be a vent in here somewhere. Uh, that's not an XP book, fuck. Uh, in. Yeah, behind, behind uh, this thing. So. Anything hiding in here? Anything in your credits? Nope. Alright then, let's go through here. Oh. Okay. Okay. Just gonna do that. Just gonna sneak past them. Don't use this computer or use it at your own risk because uh, that thing is going because they are going to be able to see you using that thing. So, uh, if you want to use this, uh, just be cautious. Just gonna go through here. And I, oh, poor guy. Nothing on you. Fuck you. I expect you to have at least some credits. Okay. So, in this room, normally, you would have to use the boxes here, if you remember. Have remember from how I passed that electrical current thing before, use two of these boxes to just move forward. But since we, since I bought this upgrade, I can just walk over it. Walk across here. Nothing. Also, rem also reminder, if you're going to go through the minefields, I think there's the minefields. Yeah, minefields here. No? You know, just remember that if you're on PC, that... Okay, I'm gonna say this. Go look at your controls and check which button is walk. Because, you see, uh, on the PC is control normally. So, this is like crouching running and this is crouching walking. So, you need to move slowly up to the mines. 
press E to disable them, and then you can press E again to uh, disarm them. Now, I'm gonna show this to you two more times, just for safety. Uh, bitch, excuse me? What? What happened? What the fuck was that bullshit? I was walking. You had no reason to explode. You know, fuck you, mice. I'm not gonna pick you up now, and you're just gonna, you just gonna lay around there for like forever, not being able to explode anything or being sold or anything. So fuck you, mice. Yeah, damn. Fucking piece of so shit. Oh. Nope. Damn it. Okay, Kenny, you are letting. You are letting. Yeah, the mines get the better with you. So. Calm down and do this properly. Oh, what's that noise? I did shit. Did I miss him? I fucking missed him. Need to take care of him. All right, good. Whew. Stressful situation when you were trying to be stealthy through everything. Uh, let me just take my inventory. Hmm, I might have barely yeah, inventory left for that little thing that I'm gonna pick up later. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so I think there's supposed to be a breakable wall around here somewhere that you can punch through to uh, create a shortcut. But I I don't have that upgrade yet. So we are going to be trying to uh, make do without it. She's shit. Uh, for these guys, I might actually want to use my pistol because fuck using tranquilizer right now. I want to be able to take out these guys as fast as possible. Oh wait 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 let's try tranking first. Okay so I'm gonna do this. That guy is just gonna turn around. Walk him back. Ah shit. Did not realize that he would follow him. Why are you following him? Stop it! No, you're being paranoid. You didn't see anyone. Now continue moving here. Now you don't have to fuck this. Okay, let's see here. When would be the opportune uh, moment to... Okay, let's see here. Okay, move. Perfect. And no pistol. Thank you. Ha! Headshots! Woohoo! Yeah, the uh, fuck trying to uh, do this part stealthily. I've done it before, but it's like, nah, fuck this shit. So yeah, I picked up a heavy rifle and I, and as usual, that is something I'm going to be selling instead of, you know, keeping. Because I need some, I need credits uh, kind of badly right now. Malik, get Pritchard on the line. Tell him I need everything he's got on the Thai Young Medical Hey, I need schematics, blueprints, everything. Have that might take a while, Jensen. They are great. Yeah, well, he's got as long as it takes to find this Taiyang shuttle that Brugen talked okay, about. Okay, so here's the reason why Jensen you would have wanted to uh, clear everything uh, yeah, by the end. But, but 
here here is why you want to do all the side uh, side uh, mission before the, going to the pod and you know contacting Van Brugge and all that is because this shit happens they are putting the city on lockdown and uh, the fuck I'm going the wrong way and uh, this will like make it harder for you to move around since all of all of them wait can I okay I think I can walk normally since they weren't originally after me they were after uh, Van Bruggen so let's just walk normally and let's uh, board the shuttle which is right next to the limb clinic hey how are you doing police officer Hey, how are you? And it's time that we use And hey, here we go. Tai Jung Medical Shuttle Station. And let's go, okay. And, uh, the, yeah. We are just gonna be boring this. And uh, off we go to, uh, yeah, it gives you the warning here. Warning! Unfinished side quest will be cancelled if you leave. Are you sure you want to go? Yeah, I'm sure. Let's go. Oh. Malik, any word from Pritchard yet? I'm right here, Jensen. Staring at a blueprint of the Tai Young Medical Building. Great. I need access to a security terminal in the upper city tower. You do realize there's an entire skyline between you and it, don't you? I know. The bank. Any idea how I get to it? I suggest you start by going up. Oh, hardy, har, har, har. Ah, preach on you fucking prick. Let's just go. Oh, explosions. Okay, then let's just uh, go ahead. Game this and see what the hell is going on. Did I did I fully upgrade my uh, hacking uh, stealth thing? I need to check that. Uh, yeah, I did. I right, good. <laughs> you help! <coughs> I need help, please. The regulation is shooting it out. I couldn't. Enough with the play-by-play. -play. What do you need? There's a valve in the next room. You have to close it. Uh, we're gonna accept this because this is actually a good, uh, useful thing to do. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank God! <coughs> Please hurry. hurry! Okay, so we are gonna go into this room. It would, it would be nice if he had given us the passcode. But never mind. I'm a master hacker. We're cool. We're cool. We're totally cool. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Access granted. Yep. I was trying to get through the door which you didn't give me the goddamn password to, you fucking... There we go. Ooh, practice point. Practice point. Woo! Uh, let me see. What upgrades would I want to be able to have? Uh, this is like completely useless. I've never actually used this. So, so, don't bother with that. Uh, never really choose this uh, much myself. Oh, oh, fuck. Radar system. Totally forgot that radar system is a good thing because now, instead of you having to walk uh, to see uh, where the enemies are, you will always see where friendlies, enemies, and neutrals are at all times. And it increases the radar range. 
which is actually a goddamn good thing. Just gonna steal these things. Just gonna move these. Fuck, I should have sold the heavy gear. Oh, ah, fuck it. Hey, how you doing? My life. How can I repay you? You can give me some directions. To where? I need to get to the upper tower. You must use the elevator pass to cryo sterilization room. But unauthorized personnel aren't allowed up there. But Kim is the god on duty today. He owes me a favor. Just tell him Lee sent you. And he should let you through. Much appreciated, my friend. The least I can do. Nice. So instead of having to try and bluff uh, to the guard uh, that is standing there and such thing, we can just tell him, hey, yo, we saved you we saved your friend back there. So he told us to let you through. And he will let you through. Speaking of which, 